India has one of the largest school education systems in the world, serving a very diverse population. But we know that the average learning levels across the country continue to remain low. Understanding what students know and can do will help to plan and take steps to improve the education system. According to education specialists like Professor Sham, this knowledge comes from the learner assessment surveys. But why conduct learning assessments when millions of children from all over the country take board and other examinations? Well, firstly, our examinations are not uniform across the country, so children's results cannot be compared fairly. Secondly, exams simply indicate how many students pass or fail, not what they know or how they apply their learning. And lastly, an examination is a test of an individual and does not look at factors that may be responsible for learning, such as home and school background. On the other hand, assessment surveys are like the health check of the education system, as they provide information on students' learning levels in different subjects, categorized by gender, geographic and social groups. So what do the learner assessments show? The learner assessments show what students know and can do in specific subject areas, covering simple to more complex learning, such as extracting information from text in a language to application and reasoning skills, completing simple calculation in mathematics to solving complex mathematical problems. And when we add to this assessment an analysis of background factors such as parental education, facilities in school, teacher competencies and students' interest in certain subjects, it provides rich information about students' performance. So, I get it. But how does one conduct such a survey? Multiple test booklets are developed covering a wide range of content areas and competencies for different subjects. Background questionnaires are developed to collect information from schools, teachers and students. Scientific sampling techniques are used to draw a representative sample of students. The tests are then carefully administered and the results analysed using the latest statistical techniques. Since it is not a census survey, the survey findings do not reflect on any individual students, teachers or schools' performance. What can we do with all this valuable data? It is essential to share and discuss the findings with all stakeholders. The data can be used to inform education policies, shape strategies and allocate resources. For example, teacher training, learning materials, infrastructure and facilities in schools. Aha! I get it. If more stakeholders understand learner assessment surveys, we will be able to tackle low levels of learning across the country. Because as we know, improvements based on objective and reliable data is a way to better education system in India.